How's everyone's day so far? It was good. How was yours? It's been pretty good. It's like, so you're lying. I'm lying. Huh. It was actually bad. So we do have a lot of things to go over today. Uh, first, who hasn't uh, presented yet? Just raise your hand. So we're all good on that. Presentations are good. And if you have me, go ahead and submit those to his team, and I'll grade them this week. So check your grades on that. Uh, I decided to not collect the worksheet answers from Thursday. I know I had busy weekends and stuff like that. So that's cool if you did it. That's extra information for you. Uh, we're back in our assigned seats, by the way. So our assigned seats. Uh, good for you if you did the extra worksheets. We're going to do our bell work today. We're going to be taking notes on the Iran Revolution. Soviet invasion on Afghanistan and the collapse of the Cold War. Today we end our Cold War unit. So that means on Thursday we're going to have a quiz. Ten questions, eight multiple choice, two short answers. And on Thursday we'll go over to the study guide to class. So you guys are literally going to do the study guide, then take the quiz. Cool? Cool. So we're doing that today. We're ending the unit. And you guys have an exit ticket as you today. So throughout the presentation, you're going to be answering these guided questions as a group, in your groups. So if you do it during the presentation, you don't have to worry about doing it after notes. And for our homework assignment, we have a two paragraph summary on the Cold War. So each paragraph should be four to five sentences long. Pretty much answering what did you learn, what was interesting, what type of impact did the Cold War bring to our world, and maybe even use your imagination and predict a different outcome. Review your notes and go over the PowerPoints that have evidence into your summary of the Cold War. Most refer to two facts from notes or PowerPoint. Any questions so far? What we're supposed to be doing today? So let's go ahead and take out notes. Let's get your notebooks out, let's get your pencils, let's get your Pieces of paper now. Cool. You guys have 30 seconds to do that. And we're sitting in our assigned seats, ladies. What? Who's sitting in your assigned seats? Mine's up. Sit in the middle. Sit right here in front of her. Sean, yeah. Sign seat. God damn it, what was my sign seat? Because I don't remember. That's your table. That table. Oh, behind me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasted. Let's see, where's your sign seat? The back side of the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Are we ready for notes? Nope. How was lunch? Yeah. Well, I'm alright, I was playing volleyball. No. That's cool. Oh, if you saw me, I was doing plastic out there. Yeah, anybody see Sean play volleyball? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> They're just jealous. Messing with you guys. Alright, let's begin our notes. Alright, next slide, Mr. Morgan. Does anybody have a pencil? So, first, we're going to start off with our bell word. Go ahead and add this to your notes. Pretty much name the different reasons we learned about during the Cold War. Use the next five minutes to answer this question. Go ahead and uh, ask your neighbors or your groups if you're not sure. Do you have a pencil I can use, please? No. No, I don't. Can I use a pen then? I'm going to lock it to my brush. Sorry. 
So go ahead and answer this question as your bell word question. I'll start you guys off. So I'll start, I'll start you guys with the first one. Where do we start? Which region do we start? No one? Wait, 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 I'll do it. Wait, what was the question? Where do we start? Which region do we start? Oh, it was the one I did, right? We started in Europe, right? Oh, yeah, Europe, and then, a, no, Europe. All right, go ahead and ask that in your group. <laughs> Remember, I shouldn't see no AirPods in, no phones out during notes, right? One more time, no cell phones out, no AirPods, headphones. Last warning, if I see them out, it's mine. Yeah. See this, his. Take it. Take it. All right. You guys got notes for it? Is that a VHS like a um, for like your personal one? Let me see. Just like like turn it like you like. One more minute. Do you know how hard it is to get one of those? <laughs> no, I don't care. Those are classic. Hey, who would sell that? How much would you pay? Like how much? Would you pay? All right, one of the different regions we learned about during the Cold War, guys. All right, I heard Asia, that's one of them. Uh, no, no, well, we got so many years for the Cold War, right? Europe, right? We talked about the Berlin War in Europe. And in Asia, we talked about the Vietnam War, the Korean War, right? Mm -hmm. Where else? Germany. Germany? Okay. All right, so we talked about Europe. We talked about Asia. What was our projects about? Latin America, right? South America? We talked about the Cold War time in South America, right? And what, 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 have we, what, what did we start on Thursday? Does anyone remember? The Middle East, right? So we went from Europe to Asia to South America to the Middle East. This is all happening to what time period? Right, 1945 to 1991. We're traveling all these different regions throughout the Cold War. Did everybody get that? All right, next slide. So now we're in the Middle East. We're gonna be talking about the Iran uh, Revolution. Pretty quite simple. There was a corrupt government, right? So the Iran Revolution, also called as the Islamic Revolution, 
for this series of events that resulted in Shah Muhammad Reza Pahlavi to overthrow the Pahlavi dynasty and the establishment of an Islamic Republic. Various leftists and Islamic organizations as well as student movements supported the revolution. Big fact is that Britain also wanted to exert control over Iran's leadership due to his proximity to India, the jewel in the crown of the British Empire. Britain feared that its rule in India could be undermined if Russia was able to control Iran. Go ahead and write down what's in yellow. Give you guys a few minutes on this slide. And if you see me uh, with my phone recording myself, that's because I'm doing an assessment for ASU. That's cool. Hope you Letting you guys know. Hope you pass. Because last class was like, are you doing a YouTube video? Or are you doing a TikTok? Or why are you recording yourself? Probably people think you're doing a TikTok, but technically not. No. Well, doesn't TikTok have like a 10 minute thing, video now? Uh, TikTok's gay. So we're talking about the Middle East during the Cold War. Yeah, that led to the end of the Cold War. Right, we have the Cold War that started right after World War II, 1945 to, I heard the other one, 1991, right? No cell phones. You guys will have time to listen to music once we start our uh, homework assignment today.
How are we doing on this slide? A few more seconds? So here's some more historical text on the Iran Revolution. However, Iran became even more important to the industrialized world when a vast amount of oil was discovered there in 1908 by a British company. The company had negotiated exclusive rights to look for extract and sell Iranian oil with the Shah the ruler of Iran. Pretty much the main point of this is that oil plays a huge factor in Iran. Iran's economy is based off of oil and Western societies buy from them. Meaning that Iran's put in a position where if you become wealthy, all their citizens get screwed over pretty much. Citizens want change in their government, so a revolution breaks out in Iran. Pretty much the aftermath is that Iran's revolutionary guards have grown to prominence as political and economic power. Iran became increasingly isolated as a result of the U.S. sanctions, a situation that persists today. While Iran's economy is still heavily based on oil, many Iranians are dissatisfied with the government. How, uh, how, I can't even pronounce that. Inflation and corruption. Uh, Iran is an Islamic state today. So go ahead and write down the main points to the Iran Revolution. Any questions on this slide? 
on the main point? No? Remember guys, if you guys take good notes, you should be able to pass the tests and quizzes in here. Alright? We learned that from the past. A few more minutes on this slide. How's everyone doing so far on notes? Almost done? And I did uh, post this presentation on Teams, so if you miss anything, feel free to go back on Teams. Cool? All right, next slide, Mr. Morton. Uh, next slide, Mr. Morton. So let's go on to our guided question. So this is going to be part of your exit ticket. So if I was you, I would get a set piece of paper, cut it in half, split it with a partner, right? Or not, up to you. So our first question, what was Iran's economy based on? You're going to answer that on your exit ticket. Question number two is, how would you feel if we had to corrupt the government? So go answer those two questions. You guys can talk amongst yourselves in your groups, right? If you're not quite sure, ask your neighbor, see how they feel, or they might have the answer, right? So go ahead and use the next five minutes to answer this, and then we'll get into our uh, video in a bit. Cool? All right, five minutes. And if you have a question, feel free to ask me as well.
have two more. Two more questions. So. Right. I got that. I, I feel this. All right. All right. Yeah, so there's two more daddy questions after this. So leave some space or do it on the back side. Up to you. You guys can talk to your group members about these questions. You guys tired after lunch or? Yeah. Maybe so. Two minutes. these questions. All right, who can tell me what was Iran's economy based on? Oil, oil right? Who said that? Leslie, all right, cool. Yeah, oil, that's the answer. Number two, this could be an opinion or whatever you believe. How would you feel if your government was corrupted? What would you do? Move away. Move away, okay. Any other ideas? Jump off the roof. Jump, uh, jump off the roof. Wait, okay. can, I, can, I, wait can I answer my question? Answer for the question too. Yep. Uh, okay, so I said I would leave the U.S. Like if it, can I say like if it? Yeah, yeah. So if it was the United States, yeah. What about the now? Go this car now. Okay, yeah. Uh, I said I will leave the U.S. I would live in either Canada, Japan, or China, or South Korea. And when war hits, I would kill all the selfish bastards. Okay, that's different. What about what about starting a revolution? Who would start a revolution? I'll, technically, I won't start it, but I'll be part of it. You'll be part of it. Yep. And I would try my best not to affect the innocent because they know. Uh, All right. So we have people moving away. We have people uh, starting a revolution, and we have people jumping off the roof. Even a suicide. All right. So. We'll go into our video pretty much summarizing the Iran Revolution in 60 seconds. Give us a moment. So no phones still, right? Let's keep watching the video. It's a nice 60 second video. Nineteen seventy nine was a momentous year in the Middle East. The Egyptian-Israeli peace treaty, Saddam Hussein becoming president of Iraq, and the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. But in retrospect, the most significant event was the Iranian Revolution, an anniversary we mark on February 11th. The revolution removed the Shah, who had been our chief proxy in this strategically vital but highly volatile part of the world. Worse, 
It brought to power a regime that has defined the U.S. as its principal enemy ever since, despite repeated efforts by American administrations to find a path toward peace. Since 1979, the most constant threat we've faced in the region has been Iran's relentless enmity, which is aggressively pursued by killing Americans, attacking American military forces and allies, and arming groups that seek to overturn the regional status quo by violence. As Americans debate our role in the Middle East, it's worth remembering why many fear it would be dangerous to leave. Iran's dogged aggression against the United States, its friends and interests, which started 40 years ago. What do you think the future holds for U.S.-Iran relations? Let us know in your comments. This pretty much ends the Iran revolution for us today. Uh, it's one thing that they mentioned in the video. I don't know if you guys remember, but it mentions the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. That's what we're going to go into right after this slide. Uh, next slide, Mr. Warren. So go ahead and tell your next part of notes, the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Pretty much this was on December 24th of 1979. The Soviet Union invades Afghanistan under the pretext of upholding the Soviet-Afghan Friendship Treaty of 1978. This is basically the last event before the Cold War ends. The Soviets trying to invade Afghanistan. Uh, one thing that the Soviets didn't realize that they were going to be facing a, a resistance. And this resistance is called Bukhari. They pretty much saw Christians or atheist Soviets controlling Afghanistan as a fulfillment of Islam as well as their traditional culture. So the people living in Afghanistan did not like what was going on. They didn't like pretty much Soviets trying to control Afghanistan, right? How would you feel if someone came into our country and said, I'm going to establish some rules and you're going to follow them, right? No, I'm not. You're going to follow our rules. Go ahead and write what's in yellow. So this is what's going on in the Middle East during the Cold War. Remember, keep your exit city on a separate piece of paper. Cool? Because you're training those in. <coughs> Wait, what are we turning in? The exit picture, right? Yep. Come on, that one. So someone uh, mentioned earlier in fourth hour, wouldn't it be crazy if they invaded on December 25th? It could have been called the Christmas War. <laughs> that would actually be too funny. Yeah. Ironic, but tragic too. It's Christmas Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve, yeah. But it would be shit. It should have started on Christmas. The rumors of war start on Christmas Eve, and then it starts literally the war. Christmas War. A bunch of homeless people who were dressed up as Santa Claus in New York gathered and bought their Christmas Santa Eve. Super cold. No, it should be called the Christmas Cold War because it's cold and it's Christmas and it's warm. I don't think that's how it works. That would be a good one. Christmas Cold War.
want to do another slide. Good. One more time. Rose, go to Mary and shift some good hand on you. What's up? Yeah. Right, Mary? No? A few more seconds on this slide. To the next slide. So there's this slide and one more, I promise. And the next one's like really small. So the Soviet invasion on Afghanistan, the Mohammedan employed guerrilla tactics against the Soviets. They would attack a rank quickly, then disappear to the mountains, causing great destruction without pitched battles. The fighters used whatever weapons they could grab for the Soviets or were given by the United States. The title of the war turned with the 1987 introduction of the U.S. shoulder launch anti-craft aircraft missiles. The stage allowed the Mojave to shoot down Soviet planes and helicopters on their regular bases. Pretty much, this is the main long-term impact of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Uh, well, the subsequent war was profound. First, the Soviets never recovered from public relations and financial losses, which significantly contributed to the fall of the Soviet Empire in 1991. That's the first long-term impact, right? The second one, well, secondly, the war created a breeding ground for terrorism and the rise of Osama bin Laden. Anyone who Osama bin Laden is? He's the guy that got killed by Barack Obama. Okay, besides that. He was a terrorist. He was a terrorist, right? And Iranian. He did 9-11, right? He yep. defined 9-11. He has what 9-11 is, right? Yeah, the <laughs> okay. fall of the Twin Towers. Okay. So these are two larger impacts that occurred from the Soviet invasion on Afghanistan. So it's very important to know the first long-term impact and the second one. I'll give you a few minutes to complete this slide. Try to give you enough time so you can work through your two paragraphs today. Two paragraphs. Why are you guys looking at me like that? We talked about it in the agenda. Well, what was the two paragraphs to leave out? We'll go over it again right now. I mean, there's no worksheet today. Okay, it's happy. Yeah. We just have the two paragraphs. I think two paragraphs is easier than the worksheet. disagrees on that. No one like, we'll just do one. Never mind. Say it. <laughs> That's mine. I will keep asking. It works. You can say it. I'm not even going to die. You got this down, Sean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right.
Why are we writing this down? We have a quiz on Thursday. Our last quiz together. What's up? How do I feel about that? I get sad. Next week is my last week, guys. I want to put that out there. Wow. You guys are happy. <laughs> I think Chris is the only one that's going to miss me. Right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah? It's like tearing up in front of my assessment. It's like crying. My professor's going to tell me, are you good? <laughs> All right, everybody got this down? So all of you guys are done. It's gonna be on teams either way, okay? So let's go. That pretty much ends the Soviet invasion on Afghanistan. Uh, next slide, Mr. Morgan. Some county questions. So go ahead and put this on your exit ticket. Uh, what were the resistance fighters called in Afghanistan? And what was the outcome of the invasion of, on Afghanistan? So go ahead and use the next five minutes to answer those on your exit ticket. If you feel like you can, go ahead and ask a neighbor. If your neighbor doesn't know, ask another neighbor. Cool? And you don't have to write down the questions, just write down the answer, right? Put question one, answer question two. The last of two questions from the yeah, these are the last two uh, questions on your egg for your exit ticket. So <clears throat> they're working on their guided questions, giving them time to work on it. And we're still doing notes. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. All right. 
Who wants to show the first answer? No one? Yeah. Who question? Who wants to answer question one? Me. Anna Marie wanted to do it, so she raised her hand first. There you go. You just raised your hand. No? All right. All right, my answer is Iran's economy was based on oil. Okay, now I'm talking about this one. How, oh, Please. that one. Okay, yeah. right. Um, I just can't just three and four kind of close. Okay. okay. So my first one was, uh, they were called the Mujahideen. Mujahideen. Okay, Mojari. Mojari. Yeah, that's how you say it. And then the first, All right. last so one. Alright, someone answer number two, please. Good job. Alright. <laughs> number two. Chris, final answer number two. Yeah, so yeah, terrorism occurred. That's the first part of the answer. What's the second one? The fall, what about the fall of the empire of the Soviet Union, right? So the Soviet Union falls and terrorism occurs. Everybody got that? All right, let's go to the next slide, Mr. Morton. And this is our last slide for today. Pretty much the collapse of the Cold War, pretty much the ending. I'm gonna have you guys write this down point per point. Uh, this is the last one. Most likely will be on the test on, Tuesday, on Thursday. Pretty much the Cold War came to an end when the last war of the Soviet occupation ended in Afghanistan. The Berlin Wall came down in Germany. You guys remember the Berlin Wall? And a series of most peaceful revolutions from the Soviet bloc states of Eastern Europe in 1989, causing the Soviet Union collapse and formally dissolve themselves from existence in 1991. And that ends what? Cold War. Cold War. Any questions on this slide? You guys are extra tired today. Last slide of the day, go ahead and write this down. And then you're gonna have more time than fourth hour to work on the paragraphs. Pretty good though. Pretty sweet. to write this down. Once you have this down, go ahead and put your pencil down so I can see who's done. Aren't you guys excited? This is the last, our last unit pretty much together. 
That's it. All war is over. We did projects, we did quizzes, we did tests. You guys have what, like 18 more days of school or less than that? Three weeks. Three weeks. Summer break. All right, everybody have this down? No. Come on, Andrew, your last one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Take your time. Where's Robin at today? That's what we're missing. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like everybody has this down. So that leads us to our assignment for today. Our right, exit ticket is due today. So those four questions, have them completed. If you weren't here for those four questions, the presentation is on Teams. So go back and answer them. Your homework assignment is to create a two paragraph summary on the Cold War. Each paragraph should have four to five sentences, and that is due next class time. So this Thursday, before the quiz. You should be answering, what did you learn so far? What was interesting to you? What type of impact did the Cold War bring to our world? Predict a different outcome, use your imagination. Uh, review your notes and go over PowerPoints and evidence into your summary of the Cold War. Must refer to fashion notes or the PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint is up. The other PowerPoint is up on Teams. So if you need to look back, feel so free to use your laptops and look at the other presentations. Any questions on what we're supposed to be doing for today? What's up? The paragraph? Yeah. Oh, it's so uh, I would want you guys to do it on a separate piece of paper because you guys are turning this in on Thursday. I'm just going to do it now. Cool. Yeah. So do your exit ticket first. Once you're done with your exit ticket, go ahead and drop them off at that table. See my finger? That table over there. All right. Do your exit ticket and work in your two paragraphs. Any other questions? Are we good? Yep. I'll be walking around. If you need have a question, feel free to raise your hand. Are you good? I'm good. I'm perfect. You're perfect? I'm great. Cool? Yes. All right. The rest of the time is yours. You have about 30 something minutes, 35 or so. Cool? All right, yeah. So we are done with our presentation. They are not working on their assignment for today.